Hello, I'm Dr. Kaiwen Brown of North Shore Medical Anesthetic Center. I'm going to demonstrate to you what is acne. Let's take a look at our 3D model of skin. This is normal skin. This is acne skin. What is acne? Acne is a disease of the pilosebaceous unit. What is that? That's the hair and oil glands. And what happens in acne is that, or let's say, first of all, what happens in a normal patient? The hormones, especially the hormone testosterone, stimulates these glands to produce oils. At different points of the day and night, the oil glands dry up and the face exfoliates. And this top layer, which is what we call the stratum corneum, stays between 10 to 15 cell layers thick. All right, so once again, hormones stimulate these glands to produce oils. At different points of the day and night, the, the face gets dry and exfoliates. However, for us with acne, and I say us because I'm also an acne sufferer, um, even though now as I'm getting old, I'm burning out. But with acne, a patient with acne, the hormones are always raging. And this is why sometimes women who are going through their menses may notice that during your periods, your acne gets worse. And also men, as they're going into the gym and trying to get big and buff, the acne can also get worse because the hormone testosterone is usually the case in most times and it stimulates these glands to produce oils and never turns off. So as a result, these oil glands keep on producing. The skin on top becomes very, very thick. As we can see the difference between normal and acne skin, the, the stratum corneum is extremely thickened with patients with acne. And that's because the oil allows the skin to be one thick wet mound of dead skin. As a result, the pores become blocked. The oil glands are still going to be doing their job and producing what we call oil or sebum, but it cannot escape. As a result of this process, bacteria that normally reside on the skin get down into the pores and create this whopping infection called the pimple. Once all of this opens to the environment and oxidizes it, it turns black, and this is your classic blackhead. And then we have the big nodular cystic acne, or acne conglobata, which the infection extends very deep into the dermis. And this gives us that whole ice pick depressed scar. So all of this is going to heal downwards because the fibrous tissue is going to be pulling it down from the scar. All because one, excessive hormone production, thickened skin because the skin is always wet, also made worse with makeups and applying other oils like pomade oils for your hair or tea tree oils, etc. Just make the skin worse because it doesn't get the ability to dry and exfoliate. And so once again, it's hormones, it's thickened skin and bacteria and that's your one-on-one -on, -one on acne.